What is up there everybody and welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are headed to Integral Kobe. Um, they are kind of located on the west side of where I live, where my grandma's house is. So today we are going to be headed there and check out some Miata goodies. Or over here in Japan they call them as roasters. So let's do that. This is what like a Japanese fire truck looks like. If you guys didn't know, it's pretty cool. Damn guys, look at that. Shackletown car, that's pretty nice. Well, it's a bummer. I couldn't film it inside because the owner won't let me film it. Um, he just said that he one, he's too shy. I told him I'm not gonna put your face in it. He's like too. Well, he said my shop is messy and I don't want to get it filmed and stuff. So I'm like, oh well, well, it is what it is. You know, you have to ask them first. You know, that's just kind of like a Japanese culture thing. So yeah, there's places that you can film and you can't film, so it's really hard to do it. But uh, hopefully Jay's racing and Zero Fighter they will let me film it. So we'll see. Lamborghini Urus. That is pretty cool. Ooh. What I have spotted is this beautiful Mark II. I'm not gonna get too close. I'm just gonna stay far away. I'm just gonna film it. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna make this quick because I'm not gonna get caught. A beautiful DBS wheels on. Some 300 Treadwear Advent tires. That looks really nice. Wow. Oh. Got exhaust too. I don't know what kind of exhaust that is. RD feed? I don't know, never heard of it before. Some sort of Japanese exhaust. Oh, nice. Just bought it on a really old EG hatch. Nine years ago, I saw the same exact car. Last time he had an NK RPF ones. But it looks like it's done in really good shape. Looks really nice. Automatic folded mirrors and all that. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. It's a good looking car. It's nice. All right, so I couldn't film um, Integrity COVID um, because the owner doesn't like camera. He's very camera shy. He doesn't like cameras to be filmed. His pretty much stuff, his property. So um, I couldn't film it. I mean, it happens, right? In Japanese culture, it's really different from the U.S. U.S. You can film anywhere you want, right? And, you know, <clears throat> it's an amendment to and the law and everything. You can film it. It's totally legal. It's t t totally fine to do that. In Japan, it's a little bit different. You have to ask the owner first, or the property owner, or the company owner, or whoever, right? And then you have to ask them, hey, is it all right for me to film the inside of the factory and stuff? And if he says yes, then yeah. But if he says no, then you can't really do anything about it. You can't film it. So it is what it is, honestly, right? So um, hopefully Jay's Racing and um, Zero Fighter and Assist BMW will let me film it. Because I'm going to be going there soon. So... Um, the, from August 4th through August 6th, I'm going to be in Kyoto, but August 4th, I'm going to be in Osaka. So 5th and 6th, I'm going to be in Kyoto. So maybe on the 4th, I could go to Jay's Racing, maybe, and then 5th and 6th, I could go to, um, a si on the 6th, I'm going to, uh, BMW, assist BMW. So, um, you know, those two obviously been on hot version shows, um, you know, multiple times, many times, as you say. I think those two are like pretty much the big dogs on the hot version show. So, uh, I'm just praying for me that I could film it, but I'm pretty sure I can. I see how the YouTubers filming it. So, I don't know about assist BMW, that's gonna be challenging because I've never seen anyone really film there before. But I really hope to film it, I'll be the first guy to film it. Yeah, um, on my way to uh, heading over to downtown Kobe right now to um, hang out with some of my friends and um, I could probably show you guys um, what Japanese Kobe scenery looks like. So I'll be filming that. So here we go. Spotted a beautiful Mustang and a G-Wagon. G-Wagons are really popular in Japan and obviously a Rolls Royce. Pretty cool stuff. We're gonna go now. That's a pretty unique looking car. It's called Suzuki Out, I think. It's really cool. Nice. Pretty cool stuff. Bridgestone Potenza with an exhaust. It's really nice. Let's look at the front, what it looks like. Super tiny rotor in the front. Looks really nice. Like a cockway now. Cockway. Yeah. 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 So, what's the car? Okay. Oh, you're to sit in it. Bye bye. You're to sit in it. Oh, you're to sit in it. Oh, my bike is a kid. 
気をつけて帰るよ。はいよ。今日はありがとう。お疲れ様です。Yeah, so he's really into bikes and stuff. So that sounds really, really nice. Damn. But yeah, I think we are gonna go to like uh, uh, motorcycle factories and stuff here soon、uh, because he's into motorcycle. And then there's a Kawasaki、uh, factory like right around the corner, right down in the, at the port and stuff. So we're gonna go check that out. Yeah. The Lamborghini Aventador is chilling. Guys, well, that'll pretty much wrap up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm in my room right now editing the video. I know it's been a little bit short because it's really, really hard to film in Japan. I'm not even kidding. Like, you have to ask for permission first and film it. And let's say you filming someone else's car, right? And if they're not there, right? But then I'm filming. I decide to film it, right? And if they see me filming it, they're gonna come out like, "Oh, what are you doing?" and stuff. They freak out, right? It's just. A different, totally different culture, and I understand, right? It's been like this since I was a kid because I was born and raised here. If you guys didn't know, so、um, that's just the kind of the culture how it is here. It's unfortunate. It's not like U.S. You know, you can film everywhere. It's people in America. I feel like they're more chill about it, in my opinion. I feel like a lot of Asian countries will freak out, right? So. It is what it is.、Um, today's plan for me was、uh, obviously post this video and、um, head over to Zero Fighters, but the heat is insane. It's super hot outside, and there's a warning that's going on throughout Japan right now that hey,、um, you could go outside, but please be alert. And yesterday, guys, I almost passed out. Yesterday was hotter, but. Man, I almost passed out. Like I had a fat headache. I thought I was really gonna pass out. I、uh, mean, I think I had a light heat stroke you know, on the train. You know, in the train and stuff, there's so AC and stuff. And obviously, I'm running the AC right now too. But man, when you go outside, dude, it's 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 hot. I don't know why this summer it's super hot in Japan. It's usually not like this.、Um, there's even no mosquitoes outside, which is weird because in mosquito in Japan there's a lot of mosquitoes during the summertime. So, yeah,、um, this is a bit weird.、Um, yeah, with all the heat and stuff, this is way too hot. Way too hot.、Um, I kind of regret. Being here, I should have came here in winter time with during the Tokyo Auto Salon and all that. That probably would have been better.、Um, I feel bad for all my friends that are going to be visiting here soon.、Uh, <laughs> but it is what it is.、Um, hopefully next week I get to film、um, the Zero Fighter Factory and Jay's Racing and stuff because、um, a storm is coming in our way.、Um, really bad typhoon. And、um, it seems like next week we're going to have a really bad lightning and thunder and all that. And it's gonna be a lot of cloudy weather, so thank God. But the temperature is still gonna be the same temperature. I don't know why this is crazy. This is insane, honestly. So yeah, the temperature um it is like around 90 degrees. That's where it's staying at. But the humidity is just insane. So that's why it's so hot over here. It's, you know, Japan is an island, so and especially if you go downtown and stuff, the asphalt heat is just it's just insane. And you know. In Japan, you don't transport with cars. You transport with walking, bus, taxi, or train, right? So it's either those options. And I don't have, obviously, don't have car back here and stuff. So if I had car, I would have definitely been dri driving my car around. But it's just golly, way too hot. I think I might just stay home today. So that means if I'm decide to stay home today, there's no content for tomorrow, obviously. And I'm just kind of like regrouping it in my head. Okay, what am I gonna do? Because it's harder to film, right? People are so not open-minded with the you know social media platform over here yet. Especially the older generation, I want to say the younger generation is totally cool, right? Obviously, but the older generation is the one that you know you kind of have to respect them, you know. So, but yeah,、um, I hope you guys kind of get the idea of Japanese cultures and stuff.、Um, 
I really want to show you guys the city scene and all that too more. Um, that's on me. I know I'm kind of slacking on it, so I'm sorry on that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, if you got any ideas, if you got any uh, places that you want me to go, please let me know. But other than that, guys, peace out and stay thirsty, my friends.